In the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson accused British King George III of transporting large armies of foreign mercenaries to the New World. Among them were the Hessians, a professional band of German auxiliaries who arrived on U.S. soil fully prepared to quash the rebellion. The Principality of Hesse Kassel was just one of several semi-autonomous states in what is now Germany. These states were frequently in conflict with each other, and Hesse Kassel was the most militarized of them all. Boys were registered at age seven and trained for possible military service from adolescence into adulthood. Every year, all males aged 16 to 30 would report to an official for possible induction. Hesse Kassel's economy was weak in comparison to other principalities, with much of the state in dire need of improvements. So the enclave's ruler, Frederick II, would lease out fighters to foreign countries in return for money. Britain was a valuable customer. A seafaring nation, the British Empire had long since conquered the waves, and much of the planet in turn, but its standing army was relatively small. So when the American Revolution broke out in 1775, who did King George III turn to for help? None other than his uncle-in-law, Landgrave Frederick II. In 1776, around 18,000 Hessian troops were sent to Staten Island. They soon began inflicting heavy losses on the Continental Army. For their part, the revolutionaries viewed the Hessians with disdain. While they, the colonists, were fighting an honorable war to create a new democratic nation, the Hessians were viewed as violent mercenaries, willing to fight for the highest bidder. While around 5,000 Hessians were killed or injured during the war, approximately 3,000 decided to remain in the United States when the war ended in 1783. The U.S. already had a large German-speaking population, so the Hessians were able to assimilate relatively easily. Many of their descendants are still here today. What was good for America, however, was bad for Hesse Kassel. With its army decimated, no Hessian fighters would ever be leased to another nation, meaning Frederick II had to find other ways to pay his ever-increasing bills. 